So the idea uh, is uh, we, we have uh, in the year 2000, we had the first big announcement that was the announcement of LibreOffice being uh, open sourced by Sun. And this happened almost 20 years ago. And 10 years ago, there was the LibreOffice board. So in, uh, in 2020, we will have uh, two overlapping uh, anniversaries, 20 years of the, of, of the free office suite and 10 years of uh, LibreOffice. The idea is to combine the two events and to have a big year of celebrations. Uh, this presentation is a number of ideas. Uh, the, the basic concept is uh, that we can uh, have uh, a low-cost anniversary because we do everything internally and we manage the events uh, and we try to be at events without uh, moving too much people around the world. And uh, on the other hand, to have uh, an escalation, of course, so that we can uh, fly people to more events, have events at events, and or to organize events ourselves. So that's uh, the idea is that we start with a very uh, restricted budget, basically not uh, increasing our usual budget for marketing and community, but of course uh, at the same time to find sponsors that are willing to help us in making this uh, a bigger event. So these are the, 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 the basic ideas. The first one uh, is uh, of course to have a logo. We need a logo for the 1020 anniversary. I have already written a briefing paper. The briefing paper will be shared in the private marketing and in the member mailing list uh, probably uh, in the next few days. Uh, there will be, a, I would say, a one month and a half. At the end of November, we will have to decide the logo because we need to start uh, creating swag for Boston and we need uh, to do that in December. To avoid uh, any discussion, any, I will decide the logo. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so in a very uh, extremely democratic way, I will consult with myself and decide the logo. So if people want to blame someone, they will blame me, not the community, not the discussion. So we avoid flames, we avoid every kind of other stuff. I will democratically choose the logo. Uh, of course, uh, based on the logo, we will have uh, swap for the entire year. We will see what we can produce. Uh, for sure, we will have t-shirts, polos, and hoodies, and the classical thing. But maybe we can have a mug, we can have some stuff uh, uh, which is uh, additional that people can uh, buy, uh, of course, and all what is will be bought will go to TDF as a kind of uh, uh, sponsorship and collect for their, uh, the, their uh, open source collectibles. So at the moment we, we will start with, the, with what we know is the classic swag of open source uh, software, but we will try and we will collect ideas to uh, get some additional stuff to produce. As I said before, we will only produce stuff uh, that we will be able to uh, sell because we don't want to have uh, to invest significant budget in uh, in this kind of uh, stuff. Other thing, uh, during the year I've made a, a list of conferences. Uh, I will share it. Uh, there are, I think, around 60 open source events, which are really community events, because we don't want to go to open source events that are uh, business events like uh, Linux Foundation events, although 
I will try to talk with Linux Foundation and ask them a keynote the, the spot uh, because I think that 10 years of LibreOffice are significant for the Linux environment in any case. But I don't want to uh, go to events uh, like, unfortunately, FOSS Asia, which, which is a very good idea, but it's a completely commercial event. So I prefer to go to the Japanese community open source event uh, to the event in China that will be organized by Kaiwan Shi, sorry for the pronunciation, but it's their open source, uh, uh, their open source association, because we want to be with the community. It's a community celebration. It's not a commercial celebration. Then, of course, if companies that make money out of uh, LibreOffice want to make this uh, commercial celebration, we are happy to work together with them to have also a commercial side of the uh, anniversary. But TDF has to make this uh, a community celebration, not a commercial celebration. So I've chosen a number of events and there are a few ones that are key events of the community. Let's, do a, let's make a few names, but they are just an example. Debian Conference, KDA Academy, WADEC, the Fedora meeting, I don't remember how it's called, the OpenSUSE meeting, uh, and there are others uh, around the world. For instance, in Italy we have uh, uh, Linux Day, there are Linux Days in Germany, uh, there is POS in France, in Paris, and there are others around the world, Chemnitz, uh, Linux Tage, there are quite many, as I said, there are 60. And uh, we will uh, try to be uh, at least to, uh, to, to uh, propose a talk to the most important ones and uh, see if they accept. Uh, of course, I think that 10 years of LibreOffice deserve a keynote uh, in, in event, at events. Of course, we will accept to have normal talks, speeches, but I think that I've just exchanged a few emails with the FOSDEM organizer and they said that yes, 10 years of LibreOffice and 20 years of the free office suite deserve a keynote. Of course, it has to be a keynote which is consistent with FOSDEM focus, which is more development than uh, uh, other stuff. So we, I, will, uh, uh, I will share all these ideas, I will share the list of uh, conferences, if there are conferences that miss, that are, are not in the list, please do not hesitate to add them. For instance, I found some events in Asia, but many events have the website only in Japanese or Chinese, and for me it's difficult to understand if they are community events, commercial or not. So, do not be shy, add them. The idea is to, uh, at those events, to prepare a basic slide deck where we have uh, a number of slides that are, in a, in a, of course, in a short way, summarizing the history of LibreOffice, providing uh, milestones in the history of LibreOffice. So, uh, for instance, all this, the dot zero releases, the first one was 3.3, .3, but all, then all the dot zero releases where we have uh, uh, change development focus, or at least we have communicated that we have focused our development on a different uh, on a different task. What we will ask to people that will uh, uh, do the the, 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 the talks in, in the different events uh, is to use our slides and then add their slides because of course we don't want to. Have, we, we, what we think uh, is important is to have a. Uh, a consistent basic message that is the same in all conferences and then of course to have the local message for, from the local community that says uh, you know join us at these events uh, uh, become a member of the community and so on and so forth uh, we will try to organize events uh, in uh, areas where we traditionally have been less active 
So uh, together with Sophie, we are uh, building a kind of mailing list of people in Africa, uh, and uh, uh, we would like to be with in Africa to some open source events. Uh, of course, uh, we will have to decide when we will have to fly people there. We will have to decide which event is more worth than others. Then we will do specific fundraising. Uh, for instance, Mike came out with the idea of uh, give 10 for the 10th anniversary, but we can have other ideas. Of course, in some currencies, 10 is not enough. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so we, will, we will have to ask for a, a multiplier of 10. Uh, for, but let's uh, put together different ideas that will help us in, uh, in collecting uh, money. Of course, we will say fundraising is specific for this project, so if you, it's not a replacement for the usual donation that we ask. So after 10 years, probably, we need, if you give 10 euro per year, maybe this year think about giving 20 because it's 10 years that we provide you a product. And last thing, we, we will write, I will coordinate a book about uh, the history of uh, LibreOffice, but about the history of the free office suite. Is, I'm not going to write a lot, it's mostly going to be based on documents already existing and available on the net. So for instance, starting from uh, Sun's announcement on uh, uh, July 19, uh, 2000, that say we have decided to open source uh, the Star Office code uh, and it will be called uh, uh, Open Office. <coughs> also, interviewing uh, people that have made a significant contribution to the project. Uh, many of these people are with us today in the sense that they are members of uh, the LibreOffice project, but some of them, for <coughs> other reasons, have left the project, and, uh, but they still can provide uh, a significant contribution, starting, of course, from the guy that started everything, uh, so Marco Burris. He is in, uh, now he lives in Berlin, uh, but I already wrote him and I said we would like to have you in some way for the, for the 1020 celebration. And he replied and said, happy to, of course, happy to discuss if I can contribute to, to this. So uh, that would be interesting at least to interview him and uh, ask him uh, how the hell uh, in 1984 you started it uh, out of the blue and uh, when uh, probably people uh, thinking about uh, writing a productivity software were a dozen in the world. Uh, so it's uh, just to have some background on this. The dates, July 19, 2020 is a Sunday. Free Office Suite at 20. September 28, 28, 2020 is a Monday. It's going to be the other day that is specific to LibreOffice. <coughs> okay, logo. Community contest we will announce uh, after the conference. Deadline for proposal will be November 20. Decision will be taken by marketing team. So if I will have a small doubt, I will ask Mike. Yeah. No, but no, that is not going out <coughs> with your marketing team, okay? <laughs> now it's democratic. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no discussion will be accepted. We all know where people that submit the logo live, okay? So we have been friends that can settle any discussion in a matter of seconds. According to questionable styles, but they... they settle up any discussion in a matter of seconds. Fundraising, example, so for instance, create specific stickers for fundraising. You give uh, a few euros and we send you a sticker that says proudly contributing to the 10th anniversary of LibreOffice or something like that. Of course, blog posts about the 10 years contribution 
uh, significant contribution. There are some that have, uh, you know, they are anecdotal, like the first batch from uh, Koei Yoshida that was accepted, I think, months after it was uh, presented the first time. So maybe have a chat with Koei and say, uh, tell us what happened when you pushed the first, uh, your first contribution and you saw that it was not merged into the, the main, the main uh, software. So we will interview the first batch of people after the LibreOffice conference on Maria. We will make a list with Mike and we will uh, probably, I think is the most practical way, is send a written interview so that you can send back, you have time to send us back sentences. Uh, for some people we may decide that uh, the the, 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 the answers are so brilliant that then, then we can organize a, a video interview using Jitsi or... Uh, but of course we cannot have huge number of video interviews also because uh, uh, we... Uh, what we can have, of course, uh, uh, just thought this, uh, we can have interviews in the native language and use subtitles. Because of course if we do the interview in English, uh, the, the English has to be at, at, at least decent, not because we want to uh, judge the English, but otherwise no one would listen to the, to the video. Uh, at FOSS conferences, we have a list. Uh, in addition, as I said, reach out to the team board uh, and so on. I will send a message to all organizers. I we will agree on a, on a common message that says, it's 10, 20 anniversary, we would like to be at your conference, give us your feedback, tell us what you think. First one is FOSDEM. Uh, FOSDEM uh, uh, call for paper ends uh, at the end of September, so this is the first one which is going to be filed uh, to try to be in Chanson, so in the main room at FOSDEM with uh, someone talking about the anniversary. Of course, when possible, the idea is to have a keynote that is more about the project and the vision, and then maybe an update. So a second talk that says uh, how LibreOffice has evolved during the 10 years. Let's be flexible and maintain uh, the possibility of having the keynote that includes this part or not. Uh, of course, uh, the main idea is to try to be the more pervasive that we can during the year, so to be at the largest number of uh, events. Uh, uh, open source people met at other events, so the, the idea is to, have you seen the presentation of LibreOffice for the 10 years when they talk up to do it themselves? Uh, okay, uh, this we, we are uh, still thinking about it. I didn't ask, uh, you, you probably have seen the interview to uh, Ivan uh, uh, Tahari, the Indonesian guy. He's, he's a partner in a shoe manufacturing company. <coughs> and he has done shoes for uh, GNOME. So why do not have shoes for uh, LibreOffice? I will immediately probably uh, write e Ivan uh, uh, tomorrow asking him uh, an idea. I don't know how much a pair of shoes can cost. So asking him a, a, an idea of how much it can cost if there are ranges, if there are... Uh, that could be a nice collectible, of course. But if you have ideas, think about, I mean, what I wrote is just the most idiot thing that comes to mind when you think about uh, gadgets. So, cleaning cloth, mouse, power bank, USB stick. If you have other ideas, send me or Mike an email, we collect the ideas. Of course, we have to talk with a supplier and uh, then we, we will have to uh, evaluate the cost and the cost versus benefit. Uh, in some cases, we can decide maybe if someone donates 100 euro, maybe we can send him back uh, a USB stick uh, worth uh, five, six euro. It's still worth, it's, we, we still cover very well the donation. But 
we, we have not a, a budget for that still. Uh, July 19, uh, 2020. Uh, okay, there is a celebration in Hamburg. Uh, this is, unfortunately, I did it, this presentation a few days ago. So I can tell you, because yesterday evening I talked with uh, Mohammed Kara in Turkey, that that celebration will be in Turkey. Because uh, uh, the, uh, they have uh, proposed uh, the, uh, uh, the, made a very interesting proposal for the conference. So that's uh, July 19, 2000, Sun released the announcement, and we will organize a celebration and uh, the, uh, um, we will uh, use the celebration to propagate on social media. Uh, September 28, that will be the LibreOffice celebration. So we all, the idea is uh, if we have money to organize a dedicated event on that day and of course uh, invite this kind of people. Uh, it has to be built. We have one year from now, so it's, uh, we still have time. The book will be presented at this event. And this is the book about history of LibreOffice. Uh, I will share, I, I already started to collect materials. I will share, a, let's say, a tentative table of content probably end of October uh, for review by people. Of course, uh, if there is, if someone sees a clear uh, lack of information on a specific uh, area, uh, any suggestion is welcome. Uh, of course, we cannot write a 2,500 pages book. So uh, we will have to make choices about really significant uh, milestones. We have 20 years, so if we go into every detail for 20 years, we write something that no one will read. While the idea is to write something that people can read, of course it will, be in the, uh, it, it will not be printed, we can have it printed on demand, but I think uh, we will have uh, all the <coughs> Uh, electronic version, so all the ebook version uh, starting from PDF, so we will have the, uh, the standard version, the Kindle version for people that using, are using Kindle and uh, the e EPUB version for people that are using other, other uh, ebook readers. So that's, uh, we would just like uh, that this document is shared by the largest number of people. It's not something that we do for money. Uh, we do it because uh, we want to first uh, to re-establish the correct history about Open Office and LibreOffice. As you know, after we forked, uh, there was a project. I don't remember the name. That trying to uh, let's say say that LibreOffice was not a legitimate project. They, there's still a few people around the world that still say that the legitimate project is another one. Is, uh, they, they are mostly Native Americans. So I think Apache might be, I don't know. Uh, uh, if they're not Apache, maybe they are Seminoles or something like that, or other Indians. Indians in the sense that Indians Native American, not Indians from India. But the idea is to explain exactly what happened, so uh, publish some documents that can uh, clarify the ideas to a few people. And that's all. If you have uh, ideas, etc. now, I understand that having the idea now is difficult, so this is the reason why I said uh, after lunch, maybe, uh, I don't know, Gaspacho can give good ideas. <laughs>